इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज हमने यहाँ पे सुनी अगर थोड़ा सा बताया उस बारे में कि हाउ इट मतलब ट्वेल्थ है और ये जर्नी कैसी रही और इस साल क्या क्या नया होने वाला है um, दो साल बाद अब जब हम ये इवेंट कर रहे हैं ना लड्डू फूट रहे हैं हमारे सच में इट इज़ सो वेरी एक्साइटिंग इट्स सो वेरी आई मीन आई आई एम वेटिंग टू मीट ऑल द पीपल हु आर गोइंग टू कम एंड यू नो आफ्टर सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड आई एम सो ग्लैड सो ग्लैड दैट वी आर आउट ऑफ द पैंडमिक एंड वी आर गेटिंग स्लोली बैक टू द बैक टू नॉर्मल सी and i'm sure the kind of response we received from people it also shows that they are also you know willing to or wanting to come out and uh, cheer us so that's the whole feeling of of coming back after two years and uh, as regards the event yes we have lot of special awards we have the ladli of the century ladli uh, which is going to ila ben then we have the ladli lifetime achievement which is going to indira jai singh and we have an award for uh, gender champion for varsha desh pande and women behind the Ev- screen award to kausar munir so we have a uh, 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 lot of awards which are very interesting and they celebrate the contribution of women to various fields and uh, Uh, as i say that i am i'm i'm a incorrigible optimist and i see so much work happening and so much good work happening maybe it is just minuscule maybe it is just a drop in the ocean but it is still there and it is our duty duty of everyone to recognize it acknowledge it felicitate it and see that more and more such things happen the whole vision the whole spirit behind lardy media awards is that sir what do you want to say about it please just Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. What, what do you want to say about Ladli and uh, the journey of Ladli? Well, uh, first thing is, right from my childhood, I've been very fond of girls and women, and I think that was the uh, reason and motivation for me to start Ladli. But actually, seriously, uh, what happened was that there was a year when. Uh, our chief minister made some references and in his speech we found that there was hardly any uh, reference to gender issues and uh, women in general so suddenly i then got this idea about doing something about the girl child which is how and then i spoke to sharda who had just joined us she's been with us from 203 203 and uh, i spoke to her and she said it's a very good idea and <clears throat> i must give credit to the fact that she came up with the word ladli which means a cherished child and that really encompasses all that we want to do because after all even to become a woman you got to start as a girl child and so ladli says it all and uh, we are very happy that we have been able to carry on this whole program for so many years more importantly we are happy that it has been now recognized by the government center and the center and the uh, state government and uh, but what we really want is our message to be delivered to every single village because that's where the whole issue lies and it's the villages that we want to ultimately uh, reach and thanks to you all of you uh, and thanks to media and of course thanks to ultimately radio also I think we've been able to reach our message to a very wide audience this year, and we're very happy about it. <coughs> What do you want to say about it? Like, uh, like J- Sir said, that we have to reach to every uh, village and the empower women. What do you want to say about it? And what do you want to say about your journey with Ladli? Thank you so much. UNFPA has been a proud partner of Ladli for many years, and we are delighted to continue on this journey. The world's population hit 8 billion 2 weeks ago. Right, right. India has the largest youth population in the world. If the potential of women and girls is unlocked, imagine where India will be. Imagine how far it will go. And therefore this initiative is right up that line because all of the works that are being uh, honored here tonight really delight and inspire and cause people to think and that's what will make the difference going forward so we're delighted to be a partner with Ladli and congratulate all of the winners tonight thank you
क्या कहना चाहेंगे आप लाडली के बारे में आपकी जर्नी जी हाँ जो मिस एंड्रिया ने बताया आई थिंक ये जर्नी हमारे लिए बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग रही है क्योंकि ये सिर्फ जर्नी नहीं है इसमें जो कथाएं हो रही है जो स्टोरीज़ हो रही है वो बहुत रियल लोगों के बारे में है और जो जेंडर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन हो रहा है इनक्वालिटी हो रहा है वो एक सच्चाई है एक रियलिटी है और लाडली एक ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म है जो इस सच्चाई को दुनिया की तरफ प्रेजेंट कर रहा है सो हम लोग बहुत यू की तरफ से बहुत आभारी हैं कि हम इस जर्नी के हम लोग भी एक ट्रैवलर बने हुए हैं सो थैंक यू क्या कहना चाहेंगे आपकी जर्नी लाडली के साथ जी आ, मेरा एसोसिएशन लाडली के साथ बहुत पुराना है करीबन पंद्रह साल से जुड़े हुए हैं ये क्यों हुआ शुरुआत आ, हमारा ये मानना था कि मीडिया जो है वो ना सिर्फ सोशियो कल्चरल नॉर्म्स एंड पैटर्न्स को रिफ्लेक्ट करता है बल्कि क्रिएट भी करता है किस तरीके से लोग आ, लोग रहने चाहिए और हमें लगा आ, कि जेंडर इक्वालिटी को प्रमोट करने में मीडिया हमारी बहुत बड़ी मदद कर सकता है आ, जिस तरीके से डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी सोशल एंड जेंडर नॉर्म्स हमारे समाज में फैले हुए हैं उनको बदलने में मीडिया का बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण रोल हो सकता है और आ, इसी आ, एक इच्छा के साथ हमारा जो आ, पार्टनरशिप हुआ पॉपुलेशन फर्स्ट के साथ और बहुत खुशी है कि आगे चलते हुए लाडली किस तरीके से खुद में एक ब्रांड के रूप में उभर के आया है और मैं तो कहती हूँ आज हमारी लाडली खुद बहुत बड़ी हो गई है एडोलेसेंस में आ गई है और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा स्टोरीज मीडिया के कवर हो रही हैं अलग अलग विषयों पर हर किसी कहानी में एक जेंडर एंगल किस तरीके से लाया जाता है ये हमने इस कैंपेन के साथ जुड़ के समझा सीखा और बहुत से मीडिया पर्सनस कम्युनिकेशंस पर्सनस तक ये चीज़ पहुंचाई तो बहुत अच्छी जानी रही है और उम्मीद है कि आगे साथ मिलके चलेंगे थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच चलो How was the journey? If you can talk about your journey. Uh, I'm honored indeed to be getting this award. But uh, yes, the journey, if you want to know, uh, was very um, exciting. And uh, not that it wasn't tough. Certainly, it was tough. But uh, there is a pleasure in the good fight, and I really enjoyed the journey all these years. Obviously, I don't consider my life's work over. It will not be over till my last breath. Sir, so, any upcoming project you would like to share with us? For what, what, what is next? <laughs> Look, I'm a practicing lawyer, so all my court and court projects are in the Supreme Court of India or in any high court. So there are lots of exciting cases which I'm working on. I'm working on the issue of marital rape to challenge it as being discriminatory against women. I'm working on the challenge to the Citizenship Amendment Act, which also discriminates on grounds of religion, and there's no end to interesting challenges. Thank you. Thank you so much.